Kelly Focus. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, my name is Alicia and if you have not hit that subscribe button, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe. So my good friends at Madam Glam sent me over some more products. Um, if you didn't see in my previous video with Madam Glam, I already ordered the Vimmies in Malaysia, the rubber base, and I'm obsessed. They also sent me over, what is that, India, Indonesia, and Thailand. And I'm gonna do a couple of swatches with you guys. And I'm also gonna do like a little study. So I actually have, can we focus? I actually have the I'm Malaysia and Demi's on for this set. This was actually my birthday set I did on myself. So this is that Lotus, but since I, I applied my thumb on Cricut and never got a chance to reapply it, but we're gonna also do like a little trial or um a survey or um a test we're gonna do a test let's let's keep it at that we're gonna do a test so these are healthier for your nails i already been testing it out because i applied this on my natural nail prior to um putting these tips on and i also colored them with these so this product can go multiple different ways and I'm going to also enter the benefits in here as well. In this video, we're going to test it out and I'm going to show you guys maybe in a updated video how this nail is progressing. Typically, my nails are very thin and flimsy and it does have some on right now of brood of uh, the rubber base but i'm gonna take them off and i'm gonna apply it on in the video but let me go ahead and do the swatches of these let you guys see it and i just also want to show you guys my little collection if you guys want an in-depth video of it let me know but these are all madam glam <laughs> such beautiful colors aren't they So I also want to do a comparison between the rubber base and the builder gel. So maybe compare the two. These are the two closest in color. This is actually a builder gel and this is the rubber base. So I'm going to actually do a swatch on that and compare it. So this is the builder gel in light pink. And we're going to compare that to the rubber base in Malaysia. Okay, so the rubber base look a little bit more stickier than the Builder Gel. If I'm not mistaken, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. I'm going to put these clips side by side. I don't know. I might, I think the Builder is a little bit thicker. Okay, you can see the Builder. I'm gonna just work with this because it's a lot. I should have got a different um So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that one. And again, this is the Builder in Light Pink Rubber Base in Malaysia. Okay, so using the Builder Gel, it is a lot thicker, but this is a lot thicker than a regular rubber base. I mean, a regular base coat. And you get a lot of coverage. I actually put some down. I picked up too much and I'm not gonna swatch um, on camera every last one but I'm gonna come back with the swatches okay so this one a lot more sheer and is a lot thinner but this will be just super pretty for like if you want just to 
do a manicure and I think that's what a lot of people use it for but I'm gonna call her my friend because she's my friend in my head <laughs> Lisette um, Lisette Cruz she do a lot of gel nails that's what she specializes in and before she do her clients nails she put that on as a um, a base between that she put a rubber base down between that the tip and the natural nail before she gets started with laying down the gel and that's what I wanted to do because I like gel versus acrylic so that's what I wanted to start doing and then I was looking up a rubber base and it came out with them well is this new to uh, Madam Glam? I think so because it, it wasn't on the site when I originally was looking for them. But that's the Builder Gel. That's really pretty too. But when that come out, I'm going to um, do a comparison between the two. Okay, so here's the coat of each. You really can't see the difference between the two. This was both with one coat. So this is awesome. So you can use the rubber base and be all of you probably doing your natural now. But if you want to add a tip, just go ahead and put that bar, um, builder gel on there as well. So I love that. And again, this will both be on the Madam Glam website. Make sure you guys look down below. I'll link that. And I want to show you guys the other swatches of what I have. So here's the swatch for Thailand. It's like a milky white. I give it a tan, like a light tan. Vimmies. And again, Vimmies is one of the colors I applied to get my semi French. Malaysia is the other color I applied to get my French. And again, I included Lotus with that. I'm obsessed with these rubber base, you guys. And that's a beautiful color. Lastly, is it lastly? We got Malaysia. So it should be five. Um, I believe they came out with six colors. I think I'm going to just have to order another one. Again, they sent me three and I ordered two off my previous haul. So that's all five of the colors I have. I'm going to probably insert a picture of the one I don't have. And I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply maybe some... Which one you think I should apply? I'm asking you guys like you can answer me now. Malaysia on my thumb and we're going to do this little trial. Let's see how it works and how it holds up on my natural nail. Alright you guys, here's an update. I did go ahead and apply the top coat and um, squared it out a little bit more. But... That was two coats of the, which one did I use? Uh, Malaysia. So I definitely feel like my nail is a lot stronger with this on and it gave it some color so that's really pretty. So since I already had took my tip off of this, I'm gonna just go ahead and see or test it and see how it works and see if we get some more length and maybe we can do like a overlay so make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for tuning in i'll talk to you guys later